Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so in this video, we're going to look at how we can accomplish uh, something like this side menu right here. So when you click the top bar or the top uh, button in the menu, uh, we'll show over here. And then you can click on the different options. So if we click on this, for example, it'll push us here. If we click on this, it'll push us there and so forth. So first thing we're going to do is let's go into Xcode and let's create a new Xcode project and a single view application and then let's call it uh, I'm just going to call mine side menu tutorial but you can call it whatever and click next and then create it and the first thing we're going to do actually is go into our storyboard and we're going to delete the view controller right here and then we're also going to delete this view controller.swift file and move that to the trash and then go back to our storyboard and we're going to drag in a view controller and make sure we set that as the initial view controller. Then we also want to set the class to S. I'm sorry. So we're going to actually use something called uh, SW view, review view controller. And it's um, a framework that you can download from GitHub. So we're actually going to drag that in. So you need these three things over here, or these two actually. And we'll drag that in. And then we'll click finish. And we want it to create the bridging header. Okay, so now that we uh, imported those uh, view controller.h and m files, we need to go into our bridging header. And we need to import um, SW reveal view controller. And we want dot h just like that and then we're going to go into our storyboard and we're going to set this to this class to sw reveal view controller and now that we have that we're actually going to drag in the table view controller then we're going to want to drag in view controller and then thirdly we're going to want another table view controller And now this is where we're going to create um, our connections. So from the reveal view controller, we're going to control click down to here. And we're going to do um, the reveal view controller set controller. And we're going to click on that. And then when the identifier is going to be SW underscore rear. We're going to do the same thing for this one. Actually, not yet. Well, yeah, let's do it now. We'll do the same thing here. This one's going to be called SW front. And then the third one over here is um, going to be called SW underscore right. And for these three, uh, connections right here it's important that you call them exactly as I did because it works with uh, this dot h file over here if not it won't show the side menus so next we're going to click on this view controller and we're going to embed it in navigation controller just like that and then we're going to start creating our side menu over here so I downloaded some images from the internet and we're going to drag them into our assets folder. And it's going to be this menu. And then it's also going to be this alert image. We'll go back to our storyboard and we're going to drag in two bar button. And we're going to stick it up here and the other one up here. And this left one, the image, is going to be our menu. And this right one over here is going to be our reminders. All right, so now let's right click and create a new file. And it's going to be a Coco Touch class. And it's going to be a subclass of UI View Controller. And we'll just leave it as View Controller. And we'll create it. Now we're going to go over to our storyboard again. And we're going to click on here and make sure it 
set the class to view controller. Then we're going to click on it and open the assistant editor. And we're going to control drag from our menu button. And we're going to make an outlet called menu button. And then we're going to do the same thing for our alert button. And we're going to call it alert button. We'll close the assistant editor and let's go into our view controller. And the only thing we really need to do is create one method. And it's going to be function side menus. And inside of here, we're going to go if reveal view controller does not equal no. Then we're going to call menu button dot target is equal to reveal view controller and we're going to go menu button dot action is equal to selector and then we're going to go open parentheses sw reveal view controller dot reveal toggle just like that and then we're going to go reveal view controller dot rear view rear width and let's say will equals uh, 275 and then we're going to go reveal view controller dot right view reveal width and we'll set that equal to let's say 160 and then we're going to go extra button or what do we call it? We called it alert button. So this is to get our right sidebar. We're going to go alert button dot target is equal to review view controller. And then we're going to go alert button dot action is equal to, we're going to go selector and then open parentheses SW review view controller dot right reveal toggle this time like that and then lastly we need to add a gesture so view dot add gesture recognizer and inside of here we're going to go self dot reveal view controller dot hand gesture recognizer like that and let's run it and we should be able to open up the side menus now. So actually what we need to do before we run it is we need to call up here in the beauty load, we need to call side menus. And now we can run it. And now this time when we click on it, it should work. So when we click on the menu, yeah, as you can see it opens up our table view controller. Um, which is essentially our side menu here and then on the right it does the same thing and the right only shows a little bit because we have it as our uh, notification view controller so we only have it opening up 160 and then the left we have opening up at 275 but you can adjust that to however you like so just to make things a little nicer we'll go into our storyboard and we're gonna click on the table view controller and we're gonna make it static cells and we're going to click on the first cell and we'll add in a label just like that and maybe we'll call it welcome and set the, the suggested constraints and then we'll drag in another label and I don't know let's say we would call this one settings another label um, Let's say we call it profile. And this is just as an example. Obviously, you would modify this for your own project, but we're set to suggest the constraints again. And we'll click on this one. And let's say we'll click, we'll change the background to um, this gray color looks fine for now. Just like that. And then lastly, let's go into our view controller. And we're going to 
uh, change the color of our navigation bar at the top and we'll make it uh, I haven't decided yet maybe like a orange might look nice a bright orange so we're gonna go function customize nav bar and inside of here we're gonna go we're gonna go navigation controller dot navigation bar dot tint color is equal to UI color and then we're gonna go color little red and so the red is gonna be let's say uh, to get orange we need to be 255 the green will say uh, 255 the blue is 255 and the float is 1 or the alpha is 1 and actually I wanted to make it uh, white here to fit in color so navigation controller dot navigation bar dot bar tint color is equal to UI color and this time we're gonna go uh, 255 green let's say something like 87 and then blue let's go 35 and then the alpha is 1 and then we need to go navigation controller dot navigation bar dot title text attributes and that's equal to open bracket close bracket ns foreground color attribute name and then in here we're gonna go um, I guess we'll go UI color dot white and then up in the view to load we also need to call it customize nav bar and then turn it again and it should change it to like an orangish color and we should see the change in the side menu all right so off camera I quickly um in here you have to divide each number by 255 so when you do that then you'll finally get this up here if not it's going to say that you exceeded a number far outside the range um, once you do that you'll see that the bar is orange and then now our things are white when we click on here as you can see, these are gray now, I left that one white, and we didn't change anything over here. So the last thing I guess we need to do is um, we need to create a connection. So when we click on these, this setting or the profile uh, cell, then it will push us into another view controller. So let's go into our storyboard. And what we're going to do there is we're just going to drag in a view controller. And then... From the settings cell, we're going to control drag and we're going to say review view controller and we're going to set it to push this time, like that. So now when we click on the settings, it should work. So we click on the side menu, now we click on settings, and as you can see, it pushes, into us, pushes us into that blank view controller. Alright guys, that's basically it for this tutorial. Just let me know down in the comment section, uh, like any changes or improvements you think I can make to my channel, uh, anything helps. Until next time, guys, peace.